Hey everyone, so welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm going to teach you how you can uh, use Cloudflare with Namecheap's managed hosting EasyWP. So let's start and for this um, I'm going to show you how you can use it with your domain register on both Namecheap and GoDaddy. So I have a created account just to show you uh, just to create this tutorial. So I can show you how to use uh, if your domain is registered with either of this Namecheap or GoDaddy. I will teach you how you can connect it to your EasyWP and use it with Cloudflare. Okay, so I have already logged into GoDaddy, Namecheap, and EasyWP. And uh, another thing I forgot is to log into Cloudflare. So if you already don't have a Cloudflare account, I would teach you how to create one. And it's really simple. Um, right now I have already logged in but I will log out and show you again okay so this is how this page will look and this is you can see here the sign up link just click on it and it will ask you for your email ID and uh, you will have to create a password so you can set your password here enter your email ID then click on create account and then you will get a verification email in your inbox G email inbox so just click on that and your account will be created so and after creating account just sign in so i will just log into my account okay once you have logged into your account um you will see um here you can see there is a pending um upside but um, you will see either option of add site like this here or uh, you will find this option here it's pretty simple or even if it is not visible this uh, here uh, you can find it on the top uh, top bar okay so there are multiple ways to find this just click on add a site option okay and now enter your domain name here so for this tutorial i'm going to use uh, my test domain bonjour.website okay so i will just copy it and okay, sorry let's move it here and then paste it here just your domain name do not add www or http or anything just your domain name and make sure that there are not any spa spaces or anything then click on add site okay now here select the free plan okay once you have selected the free plan cloudflare will scan your existing dns records and it will show you here and right now you can see there are two records um, this a record and c name so what i will do is uh, delete both these records delete it delete it okay now let's go to easy wp dashboard okay this is the dashboard and select your account just click on it you can see right now i'm using the temporary domain so do not worry if you are using a permanent domain uh, the process is same basically and um, so what i will do is scroll down and go to this option domain and click on this option change okay so right now if you are using a domain or name chip either this option the first option will be selected or second or if you are using a temporary domain like me you will see this option okay so let's say you are using a this option domain on another provider the steps are basically same um, you will have to actually click on the second option only uh, doesn't matter which option you are using right now first third, second or third you will have to use the second option okay and you will see if any domain is configured here or you will uh, see an option to add one here okay so i will just click on edit and you will see this option to type your domain so again i will paste my domain name here bonjour.website okay and then you will see a cname record here okay you can see the second in the second step there is an option copy the text below and create a new alias record in your domain dns preference so what we have to do is copy this okay then go to cloudflare um, click on add record and here select c name okay use add the rate 
and target is space what we copied from this easy wp dashboard okay now um, make sure the to unselect this just click on this cloud icon because if it is set to proxy um, this record will not work properly so click on save now okay this record has been created and according to the uh, easy wp this record should be enough and you can see here because cloudflare applies cname flat name the third step is to click on continue okay step will be to click on continue and then um, you will have to use this dns cloudflare will give you this records you will have to copy both them the, you can see this copying option just click on it if you're using uh, namecheap you will have to uh, you will see your dashboard like this uh, select the right domain click on manage and then here uh, in name server pick custom dns and paste it here similarly copy the second record paste it here okay and then um, click on this tick mark so now it will show you that um, this changes will take like 48 hours to take effect so that's it you are done and and i will show you now how to do it with godaddy again go to godaddy and um, go to your my product section if you cannot find this option it will be available in the drop down menu okay go here and then you will see this my products uh, option just go here select the domain go to dns And from here scroll down and again you will see the name servers option go to click on change and here uh, click on this option enter my own name servers advanced and here sim again the same process go to cloudflare copy first record copy second record and then click on save okay so that's again the process is same this is the fourth step basically and now once you are done that again it will take like 24 hours so usually it is done in two three hours or you can keep refreshing the records get updated okay once it is done you will have to go back to cloudflare and then click on this option done check name servers okay you can also see here registrars typically process name server updates within 24 hours once this process completes cloudflare confirms your site activation via email so either you can manually keep checking on done check uh, by clicking on this option or cloudflare will automatically keep checking your site um, if it is pointing to their name servers at regular intervals and once they detect that their um, your domain registry has updated the records they will send you an email that your record has been updated and now your domain is using cloudflare service so that's how easy it is to do you will have to just complete the steps still here and you will automatically get an email from cloudflare after a few hours and it's all done okay so then your site will be using cloudflare and then just i will just right now click on this manual option uh, done check name servers and for this i would recommend you to right now select flexible okay so if for some reason if your site does not does not have a valid ssl certificate um your visitors will not see any downtime or you know error of uh, security errors so i would recommend you to flexible um, and later once cloudflare gets activated you can change it to full or full strict okay and in the scroll down and uh, turn on this option always use https so it will re redirect all your non secure traffic to the secure version of https and then click on done so that's it um, so right now you can see here that um, in the our name server has not been updated or cloudflare has not been able to detect it so once they are able to detect it you will get an email and that will be it
so i hope you found this tutorial useful i understand that it, uh, it became a little bit too long and uh, maybe a little confusing but i will add step uh, step numbers so that you will be able to easily understand it but uh, once you are done say once you set it up then you do not have to you know ch make changes or do anything and um, that's it so once uh, for once you will have to spend some time to set it up so please like this video if you found it useful leave your comment in the feedback and if you have any suggestion on how i can improve this video or my future tutorials and um, you know, any other query or error or anything you want a uh, clarification about you can also post that in the comments and i will try to help you out so and for more such useful tutorials subscribe to my channel and i will keep updating you so that's it guys for this video and do support my channel by subscribing liking and buying from my affiliate links um, that's optional completely and i will see you in the next video